if anything really prepares you for having to watch your daughter's wedding virtually. Tonight we're talking with a Jacksonville mom whose family could not attend her daughter's wedding because of restrictions complicated by the COVID crisis. On your side, Jeff Vallon finds out that's only one wedding the family might have to celebrate in a fragmented fashion. They are a lot more locked down in Guatemala than we are here. Because of that, Jennifer Cogley and her family couldn't be there for her daughter Ashlyn's recent wedding. Ashlyn had met her fiance, a Guatemalan citizen, while doing mission work two years ago. All of that was done virtually, so all of her bridesmaids here in America were crying because they all felt like they should be there. One of those bridesmaids, her best friend Windsor, who's engaged to Ashlyn's brother for a wedding in Jacksonville this fall. Ashlyn can come here. The challenge is getting a tourist visa for her new husband. Right now they're only doing emergency visits and the, her brother's wedding doesn't qualify as an emergency. They would probably be facing a 14 day quarantine once here. Immigration attorney Rebecca Black also says the airlines won't let someone aboard if they think a passenger might not clear customs. We don't know whether they would be able to get a flight back to Guatemala. Or whether Ashland would be allowed back by Guatemalan customs officials right now. Jennifer Cogley says the fall wedding will happen one way or another. But while COVID can't conquer Cupid, watching my son and you know my daughter's best friend get ready for their wedding, the situation is following up celebration for this family and who knows how many others. That Ashlyn might not be able to be there is not just heartbreaking for us, it's heartbreaking for them. In Jacksonville, Jeff Vallon, First Coast News on your side.